back to my channel, Stella's Original World. If you're new, I welcome you. And if you're my old buddies coming back, oh my God, you know how I feel about you. Welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe, like my videos, share, comment, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload any new videos. Without wasting your time today, I'm about to share with you all how I created Jesus' tomb, the garden tomb of Jesus in Jerusalem. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season, the Easter season. The Easter signifies the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us on the cross of Calvary, so we may have life in abundance. He became a, cro a curse for us to have life. Let's not forget the season, the reason for the season. <laughs> Please join me as I create this tomb. Let's go. I got this Amazon box right here. And I'm gonna use it to create something awesome. Here, I have Amazon box, empty box. You could use any box of your choice. And I'm gonna put um, stones in it, pebbles in this box to give it weight, to make it heavy so that it's not light and it's not falling about. And I'm gonna seal off this with a tape so the stones don't fall out. anymore it's not gonna be able to fall around anyhow it likes I have another box that I'm gonna kind of place this way on top of this box I'm gonna seal it as well like the, the box is ready it's heavy it's well sealed now I got some calendars. I don't remember what I got it free. Somebody probably gave it to me when I shopped somewhere. So I'm gonna take some pages of these calendars and cover the box around. I just wanna look for the pages that I like. I like this one. Beautiful picture, isn't it? <laughs> I like it. So I'm gonna look for another one. I'm just searching for a picture that I like. And I'm gonna use this calendar to wrap this paper around. Using my hot glue, I'm gonna glue it in place. So as you can see, I'm done wrapping this box with the calendar pages. So now I'm gonna cover some of the surfaces with moss sheet. I got it from Dollar Tree. You could get it from Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, any craft supply stores around the world, we have it. It's called Moss Sheets. This is what it looks like. I want to cut it in equal half. Kind of cover the spaces around with it. I'm 
Remember that smaller box? I cut it like this. I'm gonna place it on this cardboard like this with my hot glue. Applying a generous amount of hot glue. See these tumbling blocks? Tumbling blocks. I'm gonna put them all together. I'm gonna repeat the step on top again. Okay, so now this is it. I'm gonna place it right here. But first of all, it's too dark, so I'm gonna use these sticks. Popsicle sticks. Cut them to size, I already marked them. They're already marked. The thing I like about the popsicle stick is that the scissors can cut it easily. So I'm done covering it with popsicle stick. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna set it aside. I have some rocks, some pebbles I got from my yard. I have a lot of them. I'm gonna start covering this with this rock. I don't know, I'm gonna try to see if it adheres very well. Oh, it looks like it's gonna stick. Can you see this? I'm done covering it with all the stones and rocks. Can you see? I know you kind of know where this is going. <laughs> Can you guess now where this is going? Mm. So I'm done covering it with rocks. I'm gonna lay this in here. I'm gonna lay this. See this that I built earlier? I'm gonna lay it in the onto there. I know now you have an idea where this is going. And I'm gonna take one big rock and put it right like that. I have this stuff, woods. So I'm gonna kind of figure out which one I'm gonna use for what. Just keep tying it together until it's secured. There you go. I'm gonna make the rest of them. Yeah. I have three crucifixes. Now I'm gonna stick them behind here. Put some tumbling blocks to, to glue the crucifix to the box. I glue the tumbling um, block on the crucifix and I glue the crucifix for the tumbling block on the box. Hold the crucifixes and attach it to the box. I just want it to be very secure. So you see? All attached. This cloth is a wash white cloth. You could use any cloth you like. If you have any white material in the house, if you have any white bed sheets you don't use anymore, towels, feel free to use them. I'm gonna use this white cloth from Dollar Tree. Oh, it's coming along. This the, the stone here gave me a lot of problem because it was too heavy to stick. But I eventually used um E6000 
bone glue. You see, it's still falling, but um, I'm gonna keep holding it in place until it cures. It usually cures in 24 hours. So it's probably gonna take 24 hours to cure for it to stick permanently. So I'm gonna keep fighting with it while I work right here. I'm using the moss stones to cover this space over there. The rocks to cover the areas. I just have it on hand, so I decided to use it. Oh my God, I burnt myself. Oh my God. See, I burnt myself. I'm sorry if you can't see very well. I'm going to make sure you see everything when I'm done. Some of these greeneries, well, picks, flowers to cover the edges. I'm going to use another cool rope to finish it up. I'm going to cover the whole, I wanted to leave it like this, but I didn't like the way it looks like this. Um, I'm just going to see if I cover it with this nautical rope. Now it's almost done. I just want to cover the empty spaces with these um, leaves. There you have it. See, you get some sticky letters from any craft supply store. I got mine from Dollar Tree. And then you write whatever you like to write. I hope you all have enjoyed this easy, fast DIY. I enjoyed it. Most importantly, I reflected on my life and the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. What he passed through. The agony and pain just to give us life in abundance. Let us all reflect why we're creating these DIYs and why enjoying and preparing for Easter. Let us remember the reason for the season and um, please uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the, notif the notification bell to be notified with any new video, like, share, comment and remain uncommonly blessed. Bye.